Good morning, everybody. Good morning. How are y'all doing today? Hope everybody's doing great today. Um, this video today is going to be a day, a, a video of thanks. Um, thank you to all my subscribers that have subscribed. Yes, it's only 24 right now, but you know, I never thought I'd be there before when I started this crazy little thing called YouTube. Um, it's been a fun ride. Um, it's been very interesting. I enjoy doing this because it's memories for me and my family to have um, and to share with y'all, which is very special to me because um, y'all are interested in seeing what I'm doing um, and that means a lot. Um, what else? Uh, I want to say thank you to CF. CF is, is a, uh, a friend of mine. He critiques my. He critiques me. He gives me a little, little, uh, little tips on things I need to, uh, things to do, uh, things I should do. So thank you so much, CF, for all that. I uh, really appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. Um, because you, you you've done this for a little while, so therefore, you know what people are looking for. You know what's going on in this YouTube world. Um, whenever I'm fresh and green. Um, still learning. Um, a person that wasn't really good with the computers at all, only knew the basics of the basic. Uh, me and computers never had along. I've always been a hands-on guy. Um, working on cars, uh, uh, basically riding bikes, uh, hockey, football. Never ever anything to do with the computers. Um, and my brother was a computer guy. Me, I was just uh, the chef, the uh, the person that didn't didn't want to be around computers whatsoever. So thank you to CF for helping me out and uh, critiquing me on that. I also want to give a very special shout out to uh, Mike. Um, he works with my dad. He's a close friend. he's a family friend. Um, let me show you what he did for me. Hold on one second. But later on, I'll go and uh, get what he made for my dad as well. But y'all, y'all have got to check this out. A baby Groot, y'all. Let me turn this light off right here. Uh, 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 hold on, bear with me. There we go. Huh? Let me just hold that down. There we go. Check that out, y'all. Baby Groot. Look how detailed that is. The face arms the green look at the hair and then there's the base uh, he's he does wood carving and <laughs> just look at the detail look at the back all the perfectly cuts and like that. that it's just so perfect and I'm really really thankful and grateful for this because as y'all can tell Baby Groot is uh, is my favorite character, so, character. So therefore, I've got Baby Groot, little stuffed animal right here. Baby Groot is the name of my dog. I mean, this is so awesome. And look at the the, the green on the hand tips. I mean, that it is it's so detailed, y'all. That it's just amazing. Um. Like I said, uh, later on when I go out the garage, I'm going to uh, be doing my mom's oil change and bring you along for that as well on her on her Rogue. Because um, it's, it's due for that now, so therefore I need to go out there and do that. Um, but I wanted to come say a special thank you to CF and to Mike for doing something very special for me that nobody really does. Like They actually took the time for CF to critique me and he, he doesn't have to do that. He's got other things to do in life, more important things to do in life. And then for Mike to be doing this for me as well. And I know he's a very busy man because he works with my dad. So they're always doing something um, construction wise. Um, 
on the computer for planning jobs and stuff. I mean, that they're constantly getting in contracts, so therefore, they're busy. And for him to do this, thank you so very much. And CF, thank you so very much. It means a lot to me for what y'all do. And I can't show enough appreciation for doing that. Uh, uh, only, the only thing I know to do is say thank you so much. Um, I know I've said that a lot, y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But you don't understand. It means the world to me. Because people are doing things for me that they don't have to do. And people these days are a little busy. And I get that. But to do things for others, just out of the kindness of your heart and in your free time, it's special, man, I'm telling you. Um, so thank you too very, 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 very much. And I also want to give a huge thank you to my parents for supporting me in this crazy thing called YouTube and uh, helping with getting me my first, not, not my first, but my computer so that way I can carry on with my uh, editing. Um, sorry I'm tearing up. I get a little emotional about this because it's special to me. Um, which is something my brother could see because he always wanted me to do, do stuff like this, do stuff with computers and stuff, and I never would. I refused to do it. I wouldn't step into that circle at all. Um, but I know he's watching me from heaven. I know he's watching me from up there, so either way, I know I'm making him proud. Oh, sorry, y'all. I apologize. Get a little teary-eyed sometimes thinking about stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, um, I just uh, can't show enough thank you to that. So, for everything, Sia, thank you for critiquing me. And Mike, thank you for this wonderful baby group gift that you gave me. I'm going to show you, y'all. Check this out, y'all. This thing is absolutely amazing. Look at this, guys. Look at the detail. So perfectly detailed. Look at that. Give a full little turn. Yeah. Check that out. And the signature he's got is absolutely awesome. It's, it's an awesome thing. So, Mike, thank you so much. Um, but no, I'm going to go and uh, do my mom's oil change. Uh, we're going to do some more chatting in. But first, I want to take baby Groot for a walk so we can stretch his Groot roots and uh, get a little chance to be outside and smell the air. And I know he's been out there with my mom while she reads her Bible in the backyard. I know she's been he's been out there with her. But I want to take him for the stroll around the whole walk, around the whole neighborhood, so that way he gets, like every day, he gets to stretch his roots. Um, but no, I want to tell y'all, thank y'all for subscribing to my channel. It means the world to me, and thank you so, 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 so very much. Um, I hope and pray that I get to a thousand subscribers eventually. Eventually, no hurry, eventually. Because I'd like to go live with y'all. I'd like to start doing live feed with y'all. Um, especially when I go camping or, or hiking. That's that To me, that would just be fun. Uh, when I'm sitting around camp, after hiking to it. Sit around camp, get the fire going, bring y'all into the pit mix, mix and everything like that too. So, I will see y'all in a little bit, me and baby group both, um, but till then, y'all ride that tasty wave. Here we go, y'all. Let's go for this little stroll for baby Gruitz. Let me get y'all the sun, trying to find a better spot for y'all. There you go. Baby grew here. That stuff's everywhere. Anyways, it's kind of windy today, which is cool. Feels good. I'm not going to get freaking overly hot when doing the oil change today. So, yeah, let's go for a little bitty stroll. Oh, got to turn my watch right fast. Whoa. Boom, boom, all right, let's go over here. So, yeah, as I was saying, today's just a special video, more of a thank you to everybody that's helping me out and being there for me. Because 
these people all of y'all that subscribe y'all got other things y'all want to do but y'all honestly take the time to support me in this crazy thing i'm doing but it's fun i'm loving it i'm uh getting to experience something i never thought i'd be doing well enough of me i know y'all want to see this little guy right here That's the main star right there. Baby Groot, he's the main star. I'm just the fill in. <laughs> That's the way I see it. It's all about Baby Groot. So, I hope y'all enjoy him as much as I love him. So, here's some more of him. Enough of me. I let him do his own thing. To me, this is his time. His time to go out, do all the smells, check everything out, and not just see the inside of the house or when we go to Walmart or where we go. He goes everywhere with us. He went to the hospital with us from mom's appointment the other day. That was cool. Um, that's the first time I'm taking him there. Come on, baby. This is the first time I've ever taken him to a hospital before. And uh, he did so awesome. Like, not even kidding, y'all. He definitely did surprise me on that one. That was like a huge test. Um, I'm starting to figure out what I have to do to go into stores. And I've been taking him for a long time, but this is the best he's ever been. So thank God he's finally getting used to it now. Um, He's always been an on-the-go dog. He's finally learning to uh, chill out, so which is really cool. But yeah, the hospital thing was a shocker. I enjoyed taking him in there, and everybody, everybody was like, "Oh, he's so beautiful. He's such a good dog," which makes me happy because I bust my butt trying to train this little guy. So. For everybody to be complimenting him and praising him for as well as he's doing makes me a happy happy dad so <sighs> there's that like i said today's just a day of thanks a day of uh being grateful for everything that's been going on in the midst of uh chaos so we all got to be thankful at some point in time why not now? everybody we're back from the walk uh, now it's time to do the oil change but first I've got to move my truck and when I have to move the truck he thinks we're going for a ride so it's gonna look like we're going for a ride but we're really not going for a ride but it makes him feel like we're going for a ride hope that makes sense um, anyways here we go y'all I'm gonna take it for a quick ride 
That's all I had to move the truck back was just a little bit to get to my toolbox. But he thinks that we went for a ride. So, we went for a ride. Um, I haven't done the oil change yet, but I remember I told you when I come back, I want to show you what Mike had made for my dad. Um, so this is this, this is what Mike made. This, Y'all, this is so amazing. Uh, the Groot that he did for me. And then I'm guessing this is a wizard, I think it is, with a pear at the bottom sitting on a tree branch. But y'all, can y'all check this out, y'all. This is absolutely just awesome. I mean, look at, I'm gonna zoom in and get the detail for y'all. Look, look at the hair. Look at the face with the wrinkles. The nose, the mustache, the mouth, the beard. And then the parrot right here, chilling on the little branch. I mean, come on, y'all. How much more, it's just so awesome. You can't get more cooler than that. Oh, 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 check this out. The eyebrows, dude. Look at the eyebrows. I mean, dude, come on, y'all. This is just awesome sauce, if you ask me. Um, again, thank you so much, Mike, for the group, baby Groot. And then my dad's wizard. Oh, I didn't see this, y'all. But check out the nose. Look at the nostrils. The nostrils are even detailed as anything. This, this, this man is absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, these, both these, both these designs just came out of nowhere. Dad wasn't expecting it. I wasn't expecting it. But Mike, thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. We really appreciate this. Um, I don't know how much I can thank you, but thank you so very much, sir. It means everything to me from the bottom of my heart. And keep on, keep on, uh, uh, keep on uh, whittling away, as they say. Um, because you have a gift, my friend, and don't lose this gift. God bless you. Thank you for everything, Mike. Have a good day. Ride that tasty wave, buddy. Put the filter, take the filter off and put the filter back on. sitting out which this has in the garage in my trash can work with all that dust and gunk so that way the car stays safe ready to run good Now that we've added some oil into the uh, back into the oil filter, 
Air pan. Filter, sorry. And now we gotta start the vehicle to get some of the oil into the oil filter. And then see how much we, we have to add from there. So let's go into here. Scoop the mom seat back because it's too tiny for me. All it does is take a few seconds to just bump this engine over, fill up the plant the filter a little bit, and then she'll be good to go. Um, you gotta reset the um, the uh, the maintenance gauge on here, and then once that's reset, you're good to go, man. Um, simple, easy, takes nothing but a few few minutes. Um, you just gotta mind not getting dirty, because as you can see, it's only on one hand, a little bit of the forearm, but it takes a little bit of getting dirty. But if you don't mind that, it's cheaper to do your own oil change than it is to have somebody do it for you. All you gotta do is buy the buy your oil by your filter and your time and you're done it saves you what I'm not sure how much it saves you but the fact is I used to do this for a living before my accident and uh, I'm always living working on cars let's just escape let your mind get, get free and uh, let's just think about other things other than what's going on right now and everything but it's fun um, like I said, it's, a, it's an escape from the world. What's going on? All the bull crap. So, all the lies and everything. So, all you gotta do is, like I said, get your oil filter, your oil. Make sure you get the right oil filter. And then, uh, you'll be good to go, y'all. I'll bring on back when I'm done. Okay? forgot to mention you also want to make sure you put the right amount of quarts of oil in your vehicle each vehicle is different depending on the liters of the car um, this one takes 4.75 liters uh, to fill the oil capacity in this one um, my truck takes almost six liters almost or six quarts ones I'm saying liters I'm sorry six quarts uh, this one takes 4.75 quarts um, apologize about the uh, mistake there y'all uh, but you always want to make sure you have the correct filter, the right amount of oil in that your car is supposed to take. Otherwise, you can really mess things up. Um, and then you will be taking it to the shop for something more expensive than just an oil change. Um, this took maybe all of 15, maybe 20 minutes to do. Um, still checking the oil, make sure the right amount's in there. Yes, it says 4.75, but you know what? I don't care what number it says. Always check it with the dipstick. Because um, if you don't, you're making a big risk of uh, messing things up and then costing more money than an oil change. Um, so always, always, always find out the quartz that it takes, the filter that it takes, if it's a synthetic oil that it's supposed to take and run. Um, there's about three or four things you want to make sure that you're getting the right stuff for. Otherwise, you can go in for a big payment. Um, but if you know the, the basics of it, anybody can do the oil change, y'all, and save money. Um, it just takes time. Uh, 20 minutes out of the day. Ooh, 20 minutes. Uh, but I say that because I've done it, I used to do this for a living um, before my accident. Um, I worked on cars, I did oil changes. Um, so I, I, when you know your way around the car, it is easier and faster, but if you don't, it'll take a little bit longer. But that's okay, you're out here to enjoy doing this. You're not here to just blast through it and it's done. No, you're here to enjoy it because this is your vehicle. This is what you get you from point A to point B. It takes care of you. Um, it takes care of you, so why not take care of it, right? This is the way it should work, you would think. Um, just like your bicycles, just like anything you have in, in your life. You always want to take care of it, so it takes care of you. And this is what gets you from point A to point B so you don't have to walk if you don't want to. I like riding my bike. I've been riding it more than driving my truck. So, Anyways, wanted to share this with y'all. Um, I'm finishing it up now. I'm going to clean this oil. Uh, oil uh, huh, I just forgot the name of it. Oh, this guy. <laughs> Sorry. Just to let you know in case you haven't noticed, none of my stuff is scripted at all. It's all off. 
the top of the dome. Um, I like being real. I don't like being fake, writing stuff up. If I make mistakes, I want y'all to see my mistakes. I'm human, just like you are. Um, everybody in this world makes mistakes, and you learn from your mistakes, otherwise you don't learn. Um, kind of look over, you're like, ah, oh, whatever, next time I'll get it. No, you wanna learn from your mistakes so you're not having to do things multiple times to learn it, to do it next time. Uh, Cause the next time it could take as long if not longer. Um, but yeah, none of my stuff is scripted y'all. Um, it's all from the heart, from who I am, um, being the real me. Um, and that's all I wanna be. Um, <laughs> that's funny. Um, so, and I leave, I really don't try like to cut anything out because I want y'all to see me. Uh, but uh, overall, that's what you're gonna get is me, the real me, no scripts, uh, straight off the nugget. Um, and I hope y'all like that because there's too much fake out there and I don't wanna be fake, I wanna be real. Uh, so, hope y'all enjoy it. Hope y'all enjoy the, 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 the thank yous this morning, the uh, the baby brew walk, and now the oil change. Um, just want to share a little bit of uh, life with y'all, as I always do. Um, so hopefully, y'all appreciate what I'm doing. Anyways, y'all, hope y'all enjoyed this morning. Hope y'all enjoyed everything that's been going on. Hope y'all continue to come back. And uh, I really hope this channel grows more. It's the way I can start doing live feeds. Hey, one more thing, y'all, I forgot to mention. As you can see what I'm doing right here, let me turn the camera a little bit, a little bit. Da, 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 da. Boom, there we go. This is your dipstick. This is what checks your oil level. Um, even if you don't need an oil change, I suggest checking your oil sometimes, because sometimes a car does burn oil. And right here, I don't know if you, Y'all can't see because it's kind of dark right there. I don't have my light on here. Anyways, there's an H right here and an L right here. It means low and high. You don't want to go above the high. You want to stay in between the two of those guys so that way you don't overfill your oil. Um, and that's why when you're ch changing your oil, you check it multiple times uh, because you got to fill the drain, the oil filter up. And once that's filled up, you're gonna have to add some more oil. Um, each car is different because the oil filter size is totally different on each car as well. Um, like my truck is freaking massive. My mom's is itty bitty. So um, always when you're checking, changing your oil, constantly check your oil once, once, uh, once you've started your vehicle to fill the oil filter. And then you're gonna make sure you're in between those two lines. And you, give, you don't wanna just check it immediately because if you check it immediately, it's not gonna be accurate. And you're gonna, that has a chance of overfilling your oil. Um, anyways, um, that's where you're gauging your oil uh, level at, right there. And you always want to have it in between the H and the low. Closer to the H, I want to say, than the low, but I'll try to get it right in the middles. Um, so that way it's, it, it, it's good, you know you're going to be safe, you know you're not burning anything up. Um, but overall, y'all, just take care of your vehicle and it'll take care of you. Um, and save some money, do some stuff yourself. It doesn't hurt to get a little dirty sometimes. Anyways, that's in my opinion right there. Not y'all's. Everybody has their own opinion. That's just mine. Um, so I'm going to wrap things up, tighten everything up, make sure it's good to go. I know the oil, oil drain plug underneath the car is good. Oil filter is good. Now I'm just making sure the levels are perfect. Um, and that's all I got to do. Um, so that's it for today and uh wanted to come show you all that after you finish your oil change always reset your maintenance system so that way it goes back to zero and doesn't mess you up later on my bad y'all you got to shut the door in order for the screen to change so back to what i was saying and i go here uh -huh. time lapse no right now settings okay boom then you're gonna go down to maintenance right there hit okay Go to service, hit OK. Then you're gonna go to reset, you're gonna hit OK. You go back, up to back, up to exit. And y'all are good to go another 3,000 miles, y'all. Oh yeah. So, with that being said, 
that's how you do your oil change on this car which is a nissan rogue everybody's is different so please 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 do not go off of what this says figure out what your car takes oil wise filter wise air filter if i do the air filter so that's gonna be next right fast so those are the things that you got to do and uh make sure you get the right oil right uh quarts of oil everything so all right y'all if there's anything leave down in the comments i'll be more than happy to answer uh if i can if i don't know the answer i won't answer because i'll still respond but i won't answer because i don't like giving information out that's wrong until i know for a fact what the answer is so um it may take some time but i will get back to you um anyways that's how you do this oil change and reset the maintenance system um till then again ride that tasty wave y'all